I want to uh, say something that's really important to me about Heather, which okay. is that um, with the events of August 12th, she is uh, portrayed often as the victim of this terrible, terrible violence and situation in Charlottesville. I like to think of her more as a, um, a model for us because this is a girl who stood up, she was courageous, she had conviction, and she believed in something. And I just wanted you to address that, to tell me about how Heather thought about things. She was a victim, but not of a victim's mentality. I, I have a photograph, I'm pretty sure is not photoshopped. I'm just waiting to see if it comes up in court evidence, and so I don't share it. But it's the look on her face as she's looking at the driver of the car just seconds before she's mowed down. The look on her face as she's looking directly at the driver is sort of mad that he dared to do this, mad that he dared to hurt people. Why did Heather go that day? She, she went to support her friends. She went to stand up and say, you can't do this to our town. She hadn't really planned to go knowing it was going to be dangerous until she saw the videos of Friday night. And at that point, she said, no, I have to go now. I have to go. We can't just ignore this. We can't let it go away. I have to go. She had very strong feelings about racial justice. Oh, yeah, always. Racial justice, LGBTQ justice, um, religious justice, freedom of speech. I mean, that's all very important to her. That's why it's so ironic to me that so many of the people who came to town with hate that day say that we were trying to take away their right to free speech. No, say it all you want. But we're also trying to correct a historical injustice. It's just about trying to remove a splinter uh, that's infected in the city of Charlottesville. You live in Greene County? Yes. You raised your children with this strong sense of justice? Yes. How did that happen? I am what I am. <laughs> I don't always fit in the social norms uh, because I'm opinionated and my grandmothers are that way, my parents are that way. My grandfathers are both kind of quiet, I think, because both my grandmothers were not. <laughs> <laughs> Strong women. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been, I've been fighting for women's rights for many, 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 many years. Um, still continuing to. I run into this with people saying to my face, I don't know if a woman can win this race oh. in the 5th District. Oh. Well, that never even occurred to me. Okay, so now we have a new reason to battle forward, I guess. Exactly, exactly. Wow. Talking about Congress, when I think about what I can do there, how can I best represent what Heather would have wanted to pursue in her life? She and I had a lot of phone conversations and in-person conversations and Facebook conversations and messenger conversations about this stuff. Um, I know that a police de-escalation model is definitely strongly needed. When we see police respond with military tactics, it's because that's how they're trained. They don't know how to respond otherwise. In fact, they may be in trouble if they don't respond in that manner. I so agree with you on this because yes. I, you know, I spent a lot of time uh, overseas and I've... So you've seen more? A number of wars. But to see police get military equipment that was being used in Iraq or Afghanistan, is, I think it's very disturbing, and retraining is absolutely essential. I see a lot of work needs to be done. We have a huge distrust of law enforcement in Charlottesville that's got to be overcome before anybody can work together. And yet we do need to work together because they do plan to come back. And... If that's going to happen, we need to be prepared, and we're not prepared. Citizenry no longer trusts law enforcement around here. Citizenry is already planning on how they're going to defend themselves, which is not going to be peaceful, I'm afraid. You know, I'm just concerned that we don't have more die this coming year. Um, I'm trying to preach nonviolence, but 
who am I? You know, I'm one of a million conflicting voices. And I certainly understand that it's not enough to say, let's all just be nice. Let's all just respect one another. Wow. Like I said, I kind of always live that way. I'm not an easy person to get along with necessarily. No, but you're courageous. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sometimes where I don't need to be, but, uh, but yeah.